counting down to first pitch in Philadelphia. It's the Marlins and the Phillies, and it comes your way next. MLB The Show has baseball for you under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the Miami Marlins and the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Matt Vaskirchen here to bring you this early season matchup. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, let's take a moment to look at our two starters here tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should make for a pretty good matchup. The guys will have much more to talk about as the night progresses, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Miami Marlins, as their order will read like this. They'll square off versus statistically one of the best starting pitchers in postseason history. The former Cy Young Award winner left-hander Cliff Lee. So now Rafael Furcal gets ready to stand in as we're just about ready for baseball. Cold strike on the game's first pitch as we bring you this one here tonight. Oh, and you wonder if maybe he decided beforehand just to take a pitch up there first. Too bad for him because that thing was right down Broadway. And that swung on and fouled straight back. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Gets under it a bit as this is hit high in the air out toward left center. Brown is in his tracks now. One down. So good work there by Lee to get the first down here. And with that, let's take a look at how the fills will set up on D. It's brought to us by Majestic, the official uniform of Major League Baseball. Donovan Solano will dig in here. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0-1. And the 0-1 sent on the ground to second for Utley. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Giancarlo Stanton will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. First pitch on its way from Lee. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Outside for a ball, one and one. Fouled back. Just getting started here in Philly. The 1-2 home from Lee. 
And a swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Miami down in order. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Phillies is there on your screen. They'll match up against the fellow you see right here, the veteran right-hander Henderson Alvarez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Ben Revere will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Yeah, probably not an ideal at bat from your leadoff hitter here in the first. I'd like him to stretch that count a little, try and work his way on base. Instead, he rolls over on the first pitch, and he's gone before you know it. So the shortstop, Jimmy Rollins, will dig in. Currently fifth in the National League in batting to begin play. First pitch to him. A called strike to the 35 year old veteran. Nothing in one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters and that's a tough one to do anything with. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. One and two now to the former MVP. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. And Rollins will lay off here, and he's worked the count back to 2-2. Two and two. And when he's down 0-2, oh he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. And he turns on the curveball there as he drives it out toward right center field. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Marlon Bird will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. First pitch coming. And there's a fastball that's hammered the other way to deep right field. And on the first pitch he sees, it's a home run. Marlon Bird, a solo home run. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. I tell you, what's impressive about this swing in this weather, when it's this cold, you really got to get a hold of one if you're going to take it the other way in this ballpark. That's pretty darn impressive right there. Ryan Howard will get his first opportunity here. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. And 
And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. And on 0-2, I'd be shocked to see another fastball in the strike zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Way outside. One and two. Yeah, a smart pitch there. If you got him to reach for it 0 and 1, maybe he'll do it again 0 and 2. Come on, now, Billy. 1 2. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at 1 and 2. And here's a ball hit in the air. Solano will put this one away, and the side is retired. But the Phillies strike first on this solo home run. Second inning coming up, and Philadelphia is off to an early one. Jeff Baker will come forward now, back in the lineup after being used as a pinch hitter last night. Baker. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1 and 0. I think Lee's out there saying, "Boy, I got to have that." On the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Now here's the pitch. Oh, and now a swing and a drive. Deep left field, way back there, and this is going to clear the wall by plenty. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left, and with it, the Marlins are back even now at one and one. I would guess it he would have considered himself fortunate not to have to face this cleanup hitter in that first inning but I don't think he's feeling too fortunate now because this ball was absolutely crushed. Reed Johnson will stand in and he is off to a dreadful start at the plate as he has not hit the ball well in April. Now a first pitch changeup here. Too far inside. It's 1 and 0. Oh. No outs, nobody on. And here's a fastball in for strike 1. 91 miles an hour that time. A high fastball that time in the strike zone and on the outside corner. But that is a dangerous spot to be pitching if you're only throwing in the low 90s. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire, ball two. It looked like he was going to try to go the other way with that thing, but a wise idea there to try to hold up. Now 
Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Oh, he goes into a slide. Can he get up and get him? He can indeed. A great play there for the first out. Rob Brantley will dig in with one in and one away. Now here's the first pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Here's a 1-0 cutter that's low, 2-0. Very patient here in these opening few innings. And I think that's exactly what they're going to need to do. The more hitters counts that you can get yourself in, the more fastballs you're going to see. And this is a good fastball hitting team. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Up with it is Rollins. Throw gets him, two down. Marcelo Zuna will stand in back in the lineup after getting the night off yesterday. They set the target in and this finds the inside corner for strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And this has been a pretty good comeback from that leadoff home run. Two straight outs now and two strikes here as well. The 0-2 now from Lee. Has to fight to stay alive as this is fouled off to the right. And this ball will be chopped foul. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0-2. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. And now as a hitter one and two, you've got to be thinking right center field. He'll take a little swing out and try to drive something the other way. The pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. Brown is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Marlins able to knock things up on the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second, all even at one apiece. Dominic Brown will stride in now as he'll enter play as the second leading hitter in the entire National League. Dominic. Now the first pitch. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. Grounded foul toward the third base dugout. Down low, two balls and a strike. Now here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Take the base on ball. 
Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. Throw by for Kyle, and there's one down. And you know, against a lot of second basemen, this is going to be an infield single. But watch how he fields this thing and then maneuvers his body into a good throwing motion and unloads it quickly to get his man. Chase Utley will stand in, and you see the average there up over 300 to start the new season. And this ball swung on and hit on the ground back up the box. Throw in time at first for route number two. And as a pitcher, you always have to remember that once you let go of the pitch, you've got to become an infielder. Here's a guy that fields his position well, so he's in great position to spear this thing and then get the easy out at first. Will Nieves will get his first chance now, trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. And this one will be out of play off to the left. Line shot back to the mound, and somehow he comes up with it. Phillies down in order. We play two full innings, and we are tied one to one. Danny Echevarria is ready to go here as we begin the third. Shortstop, Danny Echevarria. There's a good fastball on the outside corner as you'll take a look at strike one. And another strike. Good fastball under the hands. It's 0-2. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. One away here to begin the third. Henderson Alvarez steps in now. Swing and a miss, 0-1. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. And he lays off for ball one. Oof. You might have felt the squeeze on that one. That might just change the whole complexion of the at-bat. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This guy is almost no threat up at the plate. I mean, you could get away with fastballs right down the middle if you wanted to. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. And a good pitch that time from Lee, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Boy, you have got to make this guy swing the bat here on this next pitch. This is not the guy you want to lose. Now here's Lee on three and two. And he got him. That's generally the rule. If you throw a pitch on two and one, you'll probably see it again on three and two, and he comes up empty there. So bases are empty here with two gone, and it's back to the top of the lineup now for Rafael for call. First pitch coming. 
first offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. And that's where if I'm pitching I just pour a fastball in there. You got to figure he'd be taking to give his pitcher a second or two to get himself together over in the dugout. Inside corner a ball and a strike. Real good lateral movement on that two seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing it. The 1 1 pitch to for call. Inside here with the hard stuff and it's two and one now. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. And after that call, you know he's got to be turning around to say something like, hey, you know what? This guy doesn't need any help. And a swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Marlins. After two and a half, it remains a 1 1 ball game. Kevin Franzen will stand in. A couple of hits in that ball game last night. Third baseman, Kevin Franzen. And this is low ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Now that he's fully loose out there, you can see he's getting a little more zip on that fastball than he had coming out of the gate. Pitch on the way. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? No, a little too much hook on it there. It's a foul ball. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats and he's just fighting to stay alive here still two and two. On the ground towards second. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Batting ninth. Catcher. Cliff Lee. Cliff Lee will stand in for the first time here. In there, no balls and a strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. The right-hander deals on one and two. Now a 
swing as he rifles this one into center for a base hit. How about that swing? That wasn't just a little bleeder off the end of his bat. He swung that bat like he knew what he was doing up there. Ben Revere will dig in again. He grounded out to start the home first. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box, so it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. That missed. Close. It's ball two. Well, if he's missing right here, he ain't missing by much. Not getting too many favors behind the plate. Here comes the 2-0. Too high, and it's 3-0. And that questionable call on the previous pitch, it really changes the at-bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on 2-0. and Now it's 3-0, and and the tide is not working in his favor. And he gets this fastball over back to 3-1 and now. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one, one tie. On the ground is second. Echeverria for one, but they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Well, that's always going to be a tough turn out there. This guy runs really well, so no chance to double him up, but they'll settle for getting that lead runner at second. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring in the former MVP, shortstop Jimmy Rollins. Now a fastball on the inside corner, and he takes a look at strike one. Towards second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Not in time as he steals second. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. Come on! And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. And he'll just make the tag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. Donovan Solano will get us started here for Miami, and he'll have backup in the form of Giancarlo Stanton waiting on deck. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Ball, 
And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. And he's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, I think it's time to attack now because these guys haven't been in too many good hitters' counts. This is where you need to pounce. Fastball in there, three and two. Hmm. That's a borderline strike right there. And I think that he had one step out of the batter's box headed towards first already. Now here's Lee on three and two. Grounded foul, nope, still down. two strikes. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin stanza number four. And in a tie ball game, you don't want to be giving these guys free base runners to start the inning. He's going to need to bounce back from that pronto. Giancarlo Stanton will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. First pitch coming. Cut fastball inside, ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. That's the hardest hit ball he's had all series. And he's still looking for that first hit, but it didn't work out for him here. Jeff Baker will stand in again. He homered his first time around. First pitch here misses wide, 1-0. and oh. Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's 1-1 one and one now. Boy, his control has been outstanding so far. And there's another pitch right on the black. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the one two. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And let's take a look at the location of that final pitch here on Show Track. And you're going to see that even though he had a home run earlier in this ball game, they decide to come right back after him up in the zone and they get him to swing right through it. So two are gone now in the Miami fourth. And that'll bring in the left fielder, Reed Johnson. Here we go. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. And a 
good swing there on 1 and 0, oh, but this is in the air out to right field. And Bird will camp under this one, and the inning is over. Marlins leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth, tied 1 to 1. Marlon Bird will start things out for the Phillies with the dangerous Ryan Howard waiting on deck. Marlon. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Yeah, kind of a late decision to swing there. Even if he hits that thing, that might just be a routine fly to right. One and one. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. One and two is the count. Let's go, Phillies! Yeah, way to go, big Phillies! All right, let's go! Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. So one gone in the inning as now Ryan Howard will hit with the bases empty. This is hit sharply to the left side. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. Here he's right on this pitch and he smokes it into left field for a solid single. Dominic Brown will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Let's keep it going. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Jammed him a little here as this is hit softly to the left side. And that's a base hit. And they'll get it in quickly, so it's runners at first and second now with one man out. And with that, he'll stretch that hit streak as he's now hit in eight straight games. Chase Utley will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Runner holding tight at second, now the pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. And you know, this is a guy that loves the ball down and in. It's one of the locations he really covers well, so they're going to want to mix their spots here. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. A little bit outside, two and one. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. And Utley not biting at that one as he's ahead in the count now, three and one. And he's got a little bit of work to do now to avoid that first walk. The double steal is on here. And this is going to be a foul ball. One run, four hits. And no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. 
swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Well, that's three hits for him now after the leadoff guy was retired. Well, now the bases are loaded here as they try to cash in. Will Nieves will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. And this is going to be a foul ball. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Now with two strikes, he can put the ground ball on the back burner and really go after the strikeout here. Lifted down the line in right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. One run, five hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Brantley looks up and reins it in for route number two. Boy, that's just a nice pitch right there with the bases loaded. He gets an infield fly out of it for a big second out. And now he's given himself a much better chance to get out of this mess. Kevin Franzen will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Phillies leave them loaded. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Rob Brantley will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Rob Brantley. First pitch on the way. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. Two and zero. Oh. Well, we've seen this before. Fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his mo throughout the first half of this game. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. Oh, he's just cruising out there now. I'll tell you, this may turn into a game of first team to two wins. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. And one thing you don't want to do is walk the leadoff guy and give the Marlins a base runner. Three one is a fastball, and he can't connect three and two. Well, this is turning into a real dogfight now. Three two, here it comes. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. The batter, center fielder, Marcel. Marcel Ozuna will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Swing and the ball hit foul as this will find the seats in right. Hey, try turning the double play for one. That's 
taken. Now it's 0-2. Mm. Hard to believe he let that one go. He, that was right on a platter for him. The 0-2 now from Lee. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. An early look at the line score here tonight as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Adani Echevarria will try it again. He flew out his first time. First pitch on its way from Lee. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. It seems like we've seen a lot of guys late on the fastball tonight. And he's not throwing all that hard either. But when he throws it off the other pitches, that's where it makes it a little more difficult. Here's the one one. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. To two balls and two strikes now. Oh, yeah. Lee looks in as he readies pitch number 73 here in the ball game. And this is fouled back and out of play. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, that's how you neutralize a leadoff walk. He settles down, gets his focus back, and delivers back-to-back -back strikeouts. Henderson Alvarez will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Ball one. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. Bird is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. One left for Miami. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Cliff Lee will come forward now to start things out against his opposite number. And these two have matched each other pitch for pitch here through the first half or so of this ball game. Yeah, I think we had an idea runs might be hard to come by. You know, maybe not this hard to come by, but both of these guys have been just about flawless. So Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. Oh, Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there, and I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Ben Revere will stand in. He grounded into a fielder's choices last time. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Oh, tried to hold back as this is hit back toward the mound. On to first, and very quickly, two are gone in the home fifth. Yeah, 
you could see he tried to hold back on the swing, but he already committed himself too far. This becomes a waste of an at-bat and an easy ground out. Jimmy Rollins will stand in for the third time now, still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. You know, maybe the most impressive thing about his performance so far, he's doing it all in a hitter's ballpark. But it's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. Here's the 1-0. Oh. And he takes a cold strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can't let your guard down. Two out, nobody on. The 1-1 one, one coming to Rollins. Oh, and he's waiting on the fastball that time as he belts one high and deep to right center. And this ball is gone. So a solo shot off the bat of Jimmy Rollins, number 201 in his career. And it's given the Phils a 2-1 lead. Well, it's been a game of solo home runs so far. That's three of them now, and they get their second one right here to move them out in front. Marlon Byrd will try it again. He homered back in the first inning of this one. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. And you know, he's been the beneficiary of most of the calls here tonight, but I think that's one that he thought he should have had. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. And you go back to the call on that very first pitch, how important that was. Now instead of a 1-1 one one count, you're at 2-0 with a really dangerous hitter up there. And he gets this fastball over. It's 2-1. and one. Yeah, you know, he probably got the fastball he was looking for. But on 2-0, and oh, you can look for one pitch in one spot. And if it's not in that spot, you take it. Ready on 2-1. and one. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And a bit of a high throw that time, but not much problem over there at first as that will end the inning. Phillies pick up one courtesy of the Jimmy Rollins home run. Five innings complete. Now two to one, Philadelphia. Rafael for call will come in now to start things out here in their half of the sixth as they look for a reversal of fortunes here. The first five innings have not been particularly kind to them. And I think that's putting it mildly. Just one hit in these first five innings. They're going to need to do a better job of finding good pitches to hit. But that fellow on the mound has not made it easy on him, and that's for sure. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. For that man right there, just the one run allowed. The question is, can he make that lead stand up? Well, he hasn't shown too many signs of cracking so far. He's got the look of someone right now who's ready to go the distance. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. And down by a run, a leadoff walk would certainly help the cause. He's got to shrink that strike zone here and not chase anything that he shouldn't be swinging at. Swing and an easy one for the first baseman. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Other than that, you can see there, not much to speak of at all. Donovan Solano will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. And he 
just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats foul. Way outside, one and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Fouled back. Ready with another two two. To the shortstop, Rollins. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. And that's what the two-seam fastball will do for you. Running away, not just for strikeouts. Here he gets him to hit it on the ground for an easy out. Giancarlo Stanton will dig in now. He's struck out and lined out in his first two at-bats. A feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Now a swing, and oh boy, ground balls have ruled the inning. A third straight right here. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Miami down in order. They still trail it here, two to one. Ryan Howard will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia sixth. First baseman. Line hard to center field. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. And after going hitless in last night's ball game, he's turned things around here. That's his second hit of the ball game, and he's in at second base with a well-hit double. Now the Miami manager's up out of the dugout and on his way out to the mound. And he'll signal to the bullpen that's going to be it for Henderson Alvarez. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Mike Dunn will take over on the mound now here in the sixth inning. Number 40, Michael Dunn. Dominic Brown will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be doing so with the runner in scoring position and still nobody out. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Stanton moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. 
Chase Utley will dig in. One for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And the underhanded throw gets him for the out. That's just a textbook case right here. By not advancing the runner on that previous at bat, that would have been a run. Instead, now you've got two outs and a runner only at third. Will Nieves will step forward now, lined out and popped out in his previous two trips. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Oh, and he dialed that one down and got him to swing through it. It's one and two now. And a ball in the dirt as it gets away a bit. Throw goes over to third, and he will make it back to third safely as he didn't have much of a chance at advancing that time. And my goodness, that nearly got him as he had to back away from it. It's ball three. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. Kevin Franzen will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. Check swing here and a little looper. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them home. And he's back into second here safely. Uh, just a nice job here of not trying to do too much. You see him basically just inside out this ball down the right field line. No chance for the right fielder to get there. And this will get to the wall. He's into second easily here with a double. Cliff Lee get a shot now in an RBI spot. So a chance to help his own cause here. And he's got a hit in the game already. So he can handle the bat at least a little bit. First offering on the way. In there for strike yeah. one, 0 oh and 1. Now here on the mound, you cannot take it easy on the pitcher here with two outs. He can still bloop one in there and drive home two, so you need to be thinking strikeout all the way. And he is cruising yeah. now. It's 0 oh and 2. And you can't make this easy on him right here. At least make some contact and force him to make a play. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Comes set, now the pitch. Inside for a ball, so he misses with two straight here, and it's back to two and two. And the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. And a 
big strike out there. They'll leave a couple of runners on base, and after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. One for the Phillies here on the RBI double. Four, five, and six coming up to start the seventh. It's now three to one, Philly. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Jeff Baker will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six as they try to get something going. Baker, and this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. And this is going to be a foul ball. Lee Ruddy with the 0-1. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Are you kidding me? This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. Brown ranges deep into the corner to make the catch for the first down. Well, as we take a look at the pitches by inning, that last one puts him at 91. So stamina will start to become a real factor here the further he goes along. Reed Johnson will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. First pitch on its way from Lee. The cutter runs outside, oh, ball one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Now he's going to get a visit from his catcher just to make sure he's all right, but. Now, this might actually be more of a stall tactic here. I mean, his pitch count, it's starting to get up there, so this might just be to buy a little time for that oh, bullpen. Silly. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Lee working on a gem here. One earn through six and a third. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. And this is fouled back and out of play. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. That's just the old high hard one right there, up and out of the zone. You know, those always seem to look good coming right in there at eye level, but it's so hard to get on top of. Rob Brantley will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And there's a fastball from Lee to start him out. It's 0-1. DK, the starter, creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, with the way the teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think he'll wind up going much further. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball, 1-1. One one. Next pitch will be number 100 for him now through six and two-thirds.
Here's the 1 1 pitch. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's 2 and 1 now. Yeah, even with the bases empty here and two away, you still need to be careful here. So he's pitched him smart so far. Now the fastball here is swung on and grounded foul. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two strike pitch and chops it foul. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. There to get it is Utley. Throw onto the big fella Howard at first, and with that, the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Marlins. They still trail it here, three to one. Carter Caps will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Ben Revere will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Low with a fastball here in the dirt even. It's ball one. And he looks at a changeup in there, one and one. Now a ball lined toward right center. Stanton has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Uh, and that's just some bad luck right there. With the outfield at their normal depth, this ball might have gotten down. But with them playing in, well, it's a completely different story. Jimmy Rollins will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. Rounded to third. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting, right fielder. Marlon Bird will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ballgame. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. That's what you have to do against a big sweeping slider like that. It starts in the zone, and it's probably going to finish out of the zone. So that's a good job just to lay off. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now 2-0. and oh. I'll give him this. He's not intimidated up there. That was inside. Close to triple digits. He didn't even flinch. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. Three and oh now. He's definitely looking fastball there. And you know, he got one, but good recognition not to go up and chase it. Yeah, you get to him.
Here it comes, the 3-0. Taking all the way, and it's 3-1 now. Not turned loose there. I thought that he might be swinging with two away, but apparently not. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. <laughs> Boys, that's 99 right through him. Three and two, here it is. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and digging in, slugging first baseman Ryan Howard. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Getting that first pitch strike is so important against a guy like this. You have to be able to work ahead in the count and not let him dictate the at-bat. Sets the target low here and it misses one and one. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? It shouldn't be. That's a danger zone if you ask me. He's set. Now the pitch. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Philly strand one as the lead remains three to one. Marcelo Zuna will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Here's the first pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Bird will give it a look, but this falls for a single. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound, and he's going to bring the hook with him as that'll do it for Cliff Lee. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left to board, but he cannot lose this one. Mike Adams is on to work as he'll take over here in the eighth. Number 37, Mike Adams. Adani Echevarria will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. That's what it's gonna go. Now here's the first pitch. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. 
A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And a breaking ball falls in there for a strike. It's one and one. So tough to hang in there on that pitch, but you got to do it. You can't give up that inside corner, or this guy will eat you alive. And he misses two and one. Keep that runner close. From the belt, the pitch. Bonnie gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Our line score to this point tells the story. We see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Christian Yelich will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Hit hard, but foul. And that misses one and one. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And Rollins won't get there. It's a base hit. And the throw will come back in quickly, so it's first and second now with only one away. That is such a fluid swing for a young ball player. He's just all over this pitch. Drives it right back where it came from for a base hit. Brian Bogusevic will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 47, Brian Bogusevic. Rafael for call will step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one and a chance at redemption too because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances but he could make up for all of that with a base hit right here. This ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. And that's swung on and missed by Furcal as he falls behind here. Nothing in two. 0-2, oh, you got to shorten up. Find some way at least to put the ball in play. You can't afford a strike out here with an important run out there at second base. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Good action to the cutter, but he lays off and the count goes to one and two. Still now on one and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. And the pitch takes off inside and it gets away.
And the recovery's not going to be in time at third, and that should be ruled a wild pitch. Well, that is going to make things a little more interesting. Both runners advance, but more importantly, the tying run moves up into scoring position. So instead of needing an extra base hit, now just a grounder up the middle might tie this ball game. And this is on the ground toward the hole. Throw on to first to be in time, but meanwhile the lead shrinks to one here on the RBI ground ball. Well, this is going to get him a run closer. A simple ground ball here plates the runner from third, and we're back now to a one-run game. Donovan Solano will have a shot at driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. Decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. Good cut fastball in there. One and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. You know, that's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And a swing and a bouncing ball back up the middle. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Marlins get one here on a couple of hits. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. Phillies lead this one 3-2. Brian Bogusevic will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Now playing center field, number 47. AJ Ramos is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Number 44, AJ Ramos. Dominic Brown will lead it off here for Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right hander is up and throwing. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, 1 and 1. Come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball, one gone. Yeah, in the eighth inning of a one-run game, it's always important to get that first out, put that offense on their back heels. Chase Utley will get another crack, one for three thus far. Low for ball one. High strike there, and it's one and one. Yeah, there's a good one right there, right over the top. And just fire that thing in there. And now a 
curveball as he's got to lean out of the way. That one nearly got him. Oh, and even though that's not intentional, as a hitter, you still hate to see that ball up around your eyes. And Utley not fighting at that point as he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Will Nieves waits on deck. And this is foul tip, so that runs the count full now at three and two. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Under it, Hechevarria for out number two. Here's that swing again. This is in show motion. And mm, you'll see that that's a few inches above the thumbs. You'll be feeling that one all night long. Will Nieves will stand in base on balls his last time. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. And there's ball one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Two, two. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Kevin Franzen would be next. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. The dangerous Giancarlo Stanton will get the first shot when we return. It's the Phillies three and the Marlins two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Your attention, please. Ninth inning save situation, and they'll turn it over to one of the best in the business, the all-star Jonathan Papelbon. Now playing second base and batting in the ninth spot. And there now is John Carlos Stanton. He'll lead things off against Papelbon in the ninth. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at one and one. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. The one-two. 
And a good hard slider as this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. All right, now we're going to take a look at the location of the last two pitches on show track. The 1-1 pitch is right at the knees. That's perfect. And then he gets them to go just a little bit lower on the 1-2, and two, and he swings right over the top of it. Garrett Jones will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Garrett Jones. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third. And yes, sir, it's strike one. down the left field line will it stay fair it will just to the right of the chalk of fair ball and now this will make it down to the 334 sign and there's your tying run at second base with a one out double let's take another look at this one in show motion that's a great camera shot there looking straight down the left field line and you see him take an inside route to the ball let those hands stay back and just spray this thing to the opposite field. Reed Johnson will work now on getting that tying run home from second. And there's the fastball to start the at bat as Papelbon takes charge 0-1-1. in there as well. It's a quick 0-2 count. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in there knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. One out and a runner on second base. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. All right, a, a big strikeout there. You know, that keeps that tying run at second with two away now. Rob Brantley will have a shot at driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And this should do it. And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one. And the Phillies have taken games one and two here at home as this one is over. Another patented Papel Bond performance here as he comes in to get the final three outs. That's going to earn him a save. This one, definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. And guys, the Phillies able to claim this victory thanks in no small part to the contributions of this man on the mound. Cliff Lee, don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player of the game. And this is what you want out of your starter. It gives him seven strong innings, sets things up perfectly for his bullpen to get the final six out. 
you're going to walk away with a victory. Good job. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Harris, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The Phillies win this one 3-2. to two. Good night from Philly.